This is a 1968 Volkswagen Beetle, and we're gonna take it for a quick drive. And I'm gonna drive this one by myself, even though it's a manual. It's a drive so awesome. This little Beetle just gets up and goes. Got about 700 miles on a rebuilt engine. Shifts through the gears nice and easy. Clutch feels new. All the gauges work. The idiot lights work. Turn signals work. And it just drives super straight. All the bushings in the front have been rebuilt. I mean, somebody went through and really did a nice little driver restoration on this. Uh, honestly, it wouldn't take much if you wanted to bring it to, I mean, the Volkswagen world Maybe to show car level, I want to be careful saying that depending on the guy. Um, some of these guys are pretty serious about showing their Volkswagens and making them perfect too. But uh, man, this is just a really, really cool car. Um, there's a special place in my heart for Volkswagens. You know what, before I turn the engine off and get out, this, this thing's got a killer stereo in it. What you holding on, holding on for? You wanna leave, you just need. Why you wanna bite your tongue for? I actually got the in the back. you hear the engine Go ahead and shut it off here I'm not exactly sure when they did the body part of this um, restoration, it looks like it's a couple. The paint looks like it's a couple of years old, um, but man, it, this 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 beetle is awesome. Uh, it's lowered. <clears throat> looks like it's lowered about two inches. But one of the things I really appreciate is uh, that that they got the camber on the, especially the rear wheels, correct. So somebody did the, somebody lowered this right. And if you're looking at other beetles that are lowered, you'll see you know how the the wheels are towed in. At the top oftentimes especially in the rear so this one's got a nice little rake to it it's just a touch lower in the front than the rear just a touch not almost unnoticeable if you're looking at it right by the side but a little bit smaller tire in the in the front a little bit larger tire in the back um, these old school gt wheels which are really sweet with a, a brand new beauty rings on them tires have great tread and the body on this beetle is really straight <clears throat> I did just wash it, so maybe a couple of little spots where we see some water on it, but uh, Arrow straight body no rust um, I was qu quick to snap this beetle up because um, it just it just built right, you know all the weather stripping put back with the uh, chrome New glass Windows roll up and down nice and easy all the glass is in excellent condition All the weather stripping is new Chrome looks brand new. Either it was either I think that that's probably a brand new some brand new chrome kits that the guys have put on here. The only thing I couldn't decide what to do with was the T bars, uh, you know, the bumper delete T bars. Um, I think they're pretty cool, but uh, my favorite are the overrider bumpers, and they're not super expensive. I can pick up a set, including shipping, for about six hundred bucks um, with the brackets and everything. If, if that's a, if that's what you really, really want on this car, let me know. Uh, I'll have Clinton over at, uh, moon air cool to put, put some bumpers, uh, overrider bumpers on for you. It would just charge you the parts and labor. They're pretty easy to do, but, uh, I didn't want to mess with it because I couldn't decide between that. And then the aluminum, uh, has like the three ribbed style bumpers, uh, billet aluminum bumpers that are kind of more hot rod, which I thought could maybe go more with this beetle too. <clears throat> I happen to have a, a roof rack in the shop that's brand new so I put it up on this and I just think I personally like every beetle that I have to have a roof rack on it but that's not always everybody's flavor so roof rack comes off real easy actually funny thing is is this I had this roof rack on the on a 66 beetle I sold a few months ago and the gentleman said I don't want the roof rack you can keep it so this is a roof rack off another beetle I had and moved it to this one Nice and clean under the hood. 
or I guess we call this the trunk in the front, the bonnet, as they say, in Europe. And we'll pull this up and just show. This was one of the reasons why I snapped this up. Nice, clean, original front end. Doesn't look like it's ever been in an accident. See a little paint peel in there. Looks like the car used to be burgundy colored. <clears throat> Got the little bag here with a couple extra parts in it and a J-Bugs catalog and some extra light bulbs. All the electrical work. <clears throat> great on it let me get up real close on the on the body and show you a couple of little imperfections the thing about white that's so nice is you know you just don't see and this is like a five footer car you have to get right up on this car to see any imperfections but there's a tiny little chip in the paint here and right here where the handle screws on you can see these little cracks just a tiny and like I said I'm getting right up on it you're not gonna see that from even 10 feet away this is the worst part I've seen on the whole car See if I can try and get that with the camera. Right there about the size of my finger is a, a surface scratch. But it looks like maybe a little more than a surface scratch. I want to be careful saying that. That might, if you wanted this beetle to be perfect, you want to go around, do a couple of little touch-ups to it. But man, why? I mean, this car looks awesome. We'll keep on going around. This is not an, un, this, is an this is a very common place to see a little paint crack happen here. Um, so there's one there. Try to keep on going around and I mean like I you know I here I am trying to be as nitpicky as possible the uh, the deck lid looks really good has a couple little scratches right here obviously just from a, a license plate as soon as you put a license plate on there you'll never see that one other tiny little driver little nick you know there's a dr driver restoration you know a driver driver vehicle this is a vehicle that's been driven and enjoyed so it's got those couple of little pieces of road rash on here's a couple tiny little spots there I'm trying to get the camera to zoom in but i'm just being super nitpicky you know got a little bit of dirt here just from washing it so interior looks about two years old brand new and in just really really sharp condition seats fo fold forward and back real easy <clears throat> headliner is in excellent condition like i said everything looks pretty new in here and i showed uh got some speakers back here looks like a hat um the stereo in here rocks out really nice uh, emergency cutoff switch here if you want to turn the battery off you can um, a lot of guys like doing that nice uh, dash like I said everything works even the horn works see the idiot lights work turn signals work lights work um, really tastefully done with a new CD player I typically like to do the uh, leave original radios in when I can but the, somebody did this right and it looks really nice and tasteful and honestly you know it's got the iPod connect to it you know it's a 45 times 4 it's a rocking stereo sounds really good wipers work uh, one of the wiper blades needs actually I think both of the wiper blades really need to be replaced with the stainless steel wiper blades I don't like these black ones on here they look like the super beetle ones I would replace those if it was me they just look a lot nicer when they're chrome Underneath the car, really great condition. A little bit of, you know, spotty surface rest spots here and there. But overall, either of these, I think that these are new floor pans. I believe that the gentleman told me they're new. There's a couple of spots though where they're attached and they still look original. But um, they look new. Either this car is original, excellent condition, zero rust. Or somebody did a really good job replacing the floor pans at some time, but I don't even see where the seams are. That's how good a job it was done. Another thing you'll notice too, I only see this on really new engines. You don't see any oil drips on there, and I did not come and touch, I did not come and, you know, um, wipe that off before I showed that on the video. So I would I would say that I would call this an exceptional really an exceptional quality beetle Gosh guys, you know as I'm looking at this floor pan a second time. I I think these are original. I just don't see where there's a seam I mean they're in awesome condition. I mean really maybe aside from some 
beetles I've had with brand new floor pans. I think this might be original floor pans. Like I said, if you get up real close in here, you can see bushings are new. It's got newer shocks, brake lines. All the soft lines appear to be new. They still are drum brakes um, in the front. And you can feel that. Pull just a hair to the right when you're driving. Um, well, there you have it. 1968 VW Beetle. This is the last year of the regular Beetle before they went to Super. They call the Super Beetle. Man, I am really in love with this car. Uh, and I get teased at the shop all the time for wanting to keep vehicles every once in a while. And I don't want to keep them all. But uh, this is one that would be real easy for me to maybe throw some overrider bumpers on and just drive every day. We actually picked this up in North Georgia and drove it home. Uh, uh, we purchased a different vehicle from the gentleman who had this. And uh, I said, man, I got to have that Beetle too. We made a package deal. And, um, and actually my wife drove this home uh, two hours from North Georgia down to South Atlanta where we live. And it ran perfect the whole way. Even got stuck in a little bit of traffic. Never overheated. Just an awesome running little Beetle.